Hi guys and welcome back to another resin video. So the main thing I'm going to be using in, in this video is this. I had this from Timu um, and I wanted to do a video using it. It's a jar with paw pads. I mean, well, no, it's not plural, is it? It's a paw pad. How cute is that? Um, I have already made one which now I know what mistakes I've made, I can sort of rectify them, but I'll show you the other one I've made at the end. Uh, so the paw pads, when you close the, the jar, go at the top. So one thing I really want to do, which is really unusual, is put Bailey's fur in these paw pads. This, I, 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 did, I did myself a long time ago. <laughs> I don't know why it's got a pink thing on, but all this is full of, of Bailey's fur when I shave him. Um, I'm going to put that in there with this uh, UV resin hard gel. Now, this is from Lightwish. It hasn't actually got the brand name on it because um, it's something to do with where they got it from, but they will from now on. So this is huge. I got two of these 250 grams in one box, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they sell them like that. So you get like two in an order. Um, obviously, I will leave the link to this in the description box. Uh, I'm really quite excited to, to try this one and see how good it is. Um, I'm going to cure both sides of this with Let's Resin's UV lamp, the one that goes either side. When I reviewed this, I did it wrong. I will show you why I did it wrong and how, how I can do it right. Somebody asked me if um, what I still think of this. This, guys, is the best thing since sliced bread. If you want to cure things up and down, this will do it. But I'll show you how it does it simul simultaneously. The, you know, I did it very, very wrong. But anyway, skim past that. I will show you that when the time comes. So what I'm going to do first is get the UV gel and I'm going to fill these halfway full. I'm going to put the fur in. I'm going to cure it and then I'm going to uh, top them up. Um, because they're quite deep, so I don't want to do it all at once, just in case it doesn't cure all the way through. So that's what I'm going to do first. Obviously, I am using Let's Resin's Epoxy Resin uh, A and B. That, that, the links to these are always in the description box. So let, my, let me get my eye gloves and other stuff on, and then I'll be back. All right, so all I've done with this is just taken the lid off, and it's got like a silver thing on there just took that off and then put this on and it's got quite um a wide hole at the top which i like i like a lot all right so i've got a bowl which i made so what i'm gonna do with the fur <laughs> oh it's still in a ball luke oh my god um i'm gonna separate let me, I don't need all that. Uh, I'm going to separate it in this bowl so that um, they're not like massive clumps. I've got a mask on, by the way, if my voice is a bit weird. I don't mind some big clumps, but um, I don't want it like, oh, well, one hair there and I'll put one hair there. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that comes out nice. So I'm happy with that, so I'm just going to get my UV lamp and I'll show you how to do it properly. Alright, so what I did last time, you see these, these have got one at each end. I just didn't bother doing anything with with these. So I'll move them all, I'll, it's still magnetic, and then I'll plug it in. And what happened last time is just one came on and not the other, okay? So what you have to do is these here, there's two there, 
and there's two that side. These are outies, and <laughs> them are innies, and then these are out outies, and then they are innies. So you do them opposite, right? Make sure they it like this. Turn them over, push it down. Well, not push it down, it's magnetic. Plug it in, turn it on, and both of them work. It's genius. It is honestly a genius idea. This is brilliant for re uh, UV resin. Fantastic idea, honestly. Right, so there's also a plate. There's a little ridge, th that side there. You put it out in there. Like that. So you can put your items on. So I'm going to get that, make sure it's all pushed down. So I'm going to put it on and then I'm obviously going to cure it. The upside. What? And, and the upside. What? The top and the bottom at the same time. And I'm going to do it for, I'm going to do it for five minutes just to be on the safe side. And then I'll be back. Now we plug it in first, Nick. Oh my God. <laughs> Honestly. Right. Here we go. There we go. So that's now on five minutes. So make sure it's in there straight. Uh, and I'll be back in a bit. All right, I don't want it for the five minutes, so I'm going to turn it off. So you turn it off just, you have done two, three, five, off. So that's how you turn it off. That should be um, pretty well done now, which it is, which is good. Cool. All right, put this to one side a minute. So just to let these uh, pore pads cool down a little bit before I put some more on top. I am going to do this one here. cured now so I'm just going to fill the rest up with the UV resin settle for a little while and then um i'm going to cure it again for i am going to do it for five minutes this time to make sure that everything is nicely cured and then i can get on with the epoxy resin part all right so for the one with the pore well no for the pore pad ones i'm going to do it a little bit on the bluey side so i've got some um What's this called? It is uh, foil, blue fo foil stuff. I'm going to put a little bit of each of these glitters in and then I'm going to put the tiniest little bit of Let's Resin's dark blue uh, mica powder. I have got a little thing here because I, for, for this, I'm going to do my signature. <laughs> god um design where you put the white in and just go up and down on the sides because i fancy doing that so i have got let's resins what's this it is um ocean white uh, pigment and then in here is uh, the white thing that drops i can't remember its name i'll have to put it on screen uh so the let's the, the epoxy resin has been in a bath for the last 15 minutes. All right, now I'm just going to stir this um, until it looks nice and clear. A 
bit of resin in here. I don't need a lot, but you've got to put enough in for everything to stir around. All right, so I'm going to do this one first. So as I say, with the ocean white, I'm just going to put a little bit of this in. And a few drops of this. And get me a little stirrer and stir this around. Make it nice, brilliant white. So now in here, I'm going to put a few odds and ends. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. Little tiny, tiny bit of mica powder. Tall buildings as the chemicals that take us higher. So the mistake I made last time, there's a lip under there. Um, I didn't get all the bubbles out of the lip. So I will try my best with this one. So now it is this. So I'm just going to get this, fill it about halfway full. So now I'm going to bring you down a bit. I'm going to mix this. Right, so I'm going to just pour a, a little layer all the way around. And then I'm going to get this contraption thing in my bob, and all I'm going to do is go around going up and down. And then I'm going to fill the rest up. All right, so it's on the heat mat. Um, I used to have a silicone mat, but I gave it my grandma. I'm <laughs> not even thinking. I don't need it for this, but that's why I have it on low, so it doesn't burn the moulds. As I say, I have done this with another one, so I know it doesn't burn it. Um, but yes, here are the paw and that. I'm really happy with how that's turned out. We'll see if it stays like that. Um, so now I just get the box and cover them over like so. And then I will leave them here for the next four hours or so. Right, this is a few hours later now, so these are dry. They're still going to be a little bit on the soft side. Um, might be a little bit too soft yet, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Mm. They're very, very soft. I might leave the other one. I might leave this to harden up a little bit. But I'm dying to see this and make sure I've got all the edges right. I'll show you why with the other one with the other one I made. Let's have a look. Oh my god. Oh, can you see that? No, oh that looks so cute. Look how cool that looks. Oh my god, I love it. Oh wow, that is that looks so cool. That is so different. See with the with the fur inside. My puppy's fur in there. And I got all the edges. There's not one bit that's... I'll show, you, I'll show you my other one now. So this was the one I did. I used the mica powder for this. The colour, like a colour changing one. Not a colour changing, but I can't remember. But you can see it's got gold in it. Look, look at these. <laughs> look at the, the amount of... Because I didn't go round and press all the edges in because I, I didn't know. I didn't know the lip was that bad. Like, it's quite a lip. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, quite bad around some of the edges. These paw print things are immense. They are so good. 
obviously that would be for a girl dog and i knew i was going to do a boy dog with this one so i wanted to just show you the difference so let's see if i can if i can get this out because you can always mold it back to the, the shape it should be and i can see the, the effect they're doing with the white okay it's not as it's quite hard this, this one is oh god it's ace <gasps> yes oh my god it's ace do you know this mold again is from timu and it's absolutely fab it really is a brilliant little um mold i am well impressed with this it is really really good i will leave the link to this mold in the description box because it really is I'm, I'm blown away it, it was like a couple of quid and there's the the effect oh look how cool oh my god how cool is that effect oh i'm loving it so let's see how i did at the bottom so there's one little tiny bit there and one tiny bit there apart from that i did really well with getting all the bubbles out so then this lines up with that and then you have your, there you have your little jaw how cool like, oh my god anyway this is what i did for the other one this is called seashell hang on a minute i use these i'm sure i use these mica powders yes i did so for that it was the gold the gold pink from let's resin and then for the base thing it was seashell Yes, that was it. That's in this box here, from the mica powders from Let's Resin. So I put some um, shells at the bottom. All I did with that is just put a little bit of the UV gel, which is this one, put the shells on, use the two-way lamp, um, and they stuck down really well. Well, look at they're dead cool, aren't they? The, the shape, they're just perfect miniature shells. I don't know where these people... I mean, I, I, my husband got a, a, a big bag for, for, what was it, 99p or whatever it was. But yeah, that's the other one that I made. But um, I didn't do too bad at the bottom of this. I only made one little mistake there. So yeah, that's it. That is my girly pot. And this is my boy pot. So yeah, that is me using this mould from Timu. I absolutely love it. It is so much fun. Um, I, I will definitely use this again because obviously the pots come in handy. I love I love doing stuff where you can use it and then you've obviously got your memory of, say you, you put little puppy dogs died or cat and you've got their fur in there forever. I just think that's a cracking idea and it's got other things inside of it to make the fur stand out a little bit more anyway i'm going to show up rambling now really hope you enjoyed this video guys and my little poory friends <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye guys